All right. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Solo Gaming Time with the Code of the Douchebag. I am back, better than ever. Um, so today we're playing uh, Hyper Metroid, which is a ROM hack released recently that is. Um, it, it promises to be super cool. So I'm a huge Metroid fan. I'm so excited to play this. So without any further ado, I'm going to begin this adventure. Oops. Apparently I set that up wrong. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Eight years ago, I was the lead engineer on Earth Colony K2L, soon to start a family with my husband, Adam. All was fine until one day the colony was assaulted by the Space Pirate Legions. Shitty deal, bruh. Should avoid that in the future, if you, you know. Everyone I knew was dead. My child miscarried. I swore vengeance upon the space pirates and began building with ancient Chozo technology to start my crusade. What? Since when does she know how to build shit? And she miscarried her child. Like, talk about plot ripped off from every bad fan fiction. I had a husband. I lost him. I had a child. I miscarried it. Fucking. My first mission was to destroy the mother brain and cripple their operation. Wait, she had this husband before she became a badass bounty hunter? Are you fucking kidding me? Nice recoloring of the cutscene there, guys, with the green vi visor and random green dot. Uh, the mother brain was a fake, but I learned of their plans to utilize Metroids as bioweapons, so I set out to planet SR3D8 to eliminate them, except for one. Wait, it was a fake? I, that's really lame. How would you not know? You fought it in Metroid Prime 3. Are you fucking kidding me? Shut the fuck up, Creative Cloud. Jesus. Unable to dispatch the infant Metroid, I came up with a new plot. I could use the Metroid to draw out the pirate leaders and locate their home by planting it at an illegal weapons facility. What? Okay. Seems kind of a, an odd plan. But yeah, let's go. All right. Fuck, fuck, this is weird. Okay. A space colony. Not gonna give me any more information than that. Okay, all right. Oh no, that's not, there we go. Why is her suit blue? A little bit of, and like, why does she have a bronze cannon, or copper arm cannon, it's very strange. Uh, okay, so recolored base. Oh, so there's rapid fire, that's good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Okay. Oh, it has the Metroid Fusion little thing where you can like switch into a flip jump in the middle there. Maybe that was a Metroid, Super Metroid as well. Well, that's easy. Like, the, the gun is rapid fire now, so I don't have to, like... I could just hold the button down. I don't have to worry about, like, actually tapping the button repeatedly. Wait, it's not going to blow up? Or is it going to blow up? Okay, well... Wait. What? I just walked through the stairs. Why did I do that? Okay, dead bodies. Great! This is getting even more 
intense. Yeah, all right. And, oh shit. Uh, wait, which way do I go? I'm assuming I go up. All right. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I just haven't had any interest in commentary yet. This is just kind of silly right now. I, I shouldn't judge it so harshly. I mean, obviously a lot of work has gone into this. Um, but I'm just very, very particular about Metroid games. Why is it red now? It was yellow before. Oh, that's weird. Okay. It's not going to blow up. It was kind of a lame start to the game. Like, oh no, it like... It just... I'm so confused. She, I thought she planted the Metroid in a... In a an illegal weapons facility, not a fucking space colony. Are you kidding me? Like, I thought, like, what? Oh, man. Which is it? Is it is it an illegal weapons facility or a space colony? Okay, this is cool. This is different. Why is she blue? Okay. Okay. Well. Oh, I didn't even see that there. Look at me paying attention to the game that's in front of me. Uh, well, I can't blow that up. I feel like the 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 gun beams, like the the power beam, moves slower in this game. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just crazy. Okay, I guess we'll go this way. What's up here? Things I can destroy. Cool. But yeah, I don't have Morph Ball yet, so... Okay. So this game... This this uh, ROM hack apparently started out as... Um, somebody... Somebody saw some cool things, some cool, like, little mods, but they didn't really do much like they weren't like they just added a couple things to the game but didn't really adjust the game to compensate for the new like abilities or whatever that that they were adding so this guy started making levels for like that that made use of the new abilities that they were giving to samus and these mods but eventually he just like well i could now that means i can probably like make an entire game i might as well just make an entire new entirely new Metroid game out of Super Metroid's engine, and so that's, I guess, the story of this game. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, it, it switches. It, okay, it has a switch because the door opened, even though each door is like a a chamber uh, in itself that could contain the fluids. Anyways. I shouldn't I shouldn't judge. I shouldn't judge. It's it's a minor thing. Okay. Oh hey, you're new. Okay, all right. Getting to some really interesting enemies. Okay, those were those were around before. Those are in uh, Lower Norfair, but just different colored, I think. These are entirely new, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I have a friend who uh, speedruns this game, and, like, he, he can... He, he, his record's not, like, world record, but it's really... He's really good, and I, like, I can't speedrun Super Metroid. I am not the speedrunning type, I don't think. Oh, shit. Okay. Um... Oh, hey, this is where I fought fake Mother Brain, apparently. I mean, I guess it makes more sense that, that she was fake than I killed her and the space pirates magically had the technology to bring her back. Because they didn't even have the technology to build her in the first place. They stole her from the Galactic Federation, who has ex extremely advanced technology. Okay, I'm just running into dead end after dead end. <sighs> okay, so I saw a way to go up this way. Ah, for fuck's sakes. Ah, damn it. Uh, 
Okay, so there's... This, well, this is interesting. Fourteen gates remain. Huh, touring gate unlocked. Interesting. Well, that's weird. Okay, so there's... You have to unlock fourteen gates, to, or fifteen, I guess, in total, uh, gates to get into Torian. Alright. See, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a, Metro, a Super Metroid remake, or what it is. Okay, no... No triumphant sound. Oh, shit. Okay, fuck you, bro. I like that one section of the Morph Ball is different colored. It's weird that it's not animated anymore. You notice that? Like, it, like normally in Super Metroid, it, it like, it rolls in place, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, but, you know. Uh, okay, well, I can go this way. It's a weird sound effect they have now for, like, going into Morph Ball. It's like a, like a blow, an explosion, small explosion sound effect. Oh, hey. That's the music from the opening cutscene of the original game. Interesting. Yeah, I get it. Space pirates are here. It's pretty shitty, bro. Wish I had a charge beam. Jesus. Okay. Boop 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 boo doo. Boop boo doo 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 doo. Oh no, this. Wait, they mixed the criteria theme with the super, with the pirates, or the the opening. Cutscene theme? Ah, oh, maybe, maybe I'm just, I'm losing my mind. I might be losing my mind. Whoa, jeez, those reels are crazy. Alright, well, I'm gonna see if I can get to a save point or something here. Oh, shit. Oh, balls. Okay. There's a lot going on in this room. Wow, okay. No, fuck. Okay. Well, it's interesting how the platforming is has been changed to be just kind of douchey. Instead of just, you know, easy to learn, difficult to master. Okay, so that's the wave beam up there. That's obviously probably not accessible until I have like the high jump boots or the space jump. Wait, does the whole thing break? Or just specific parts that are meant to throw me the fuck off? Probably specific parts that are supposed to throw me the fuck off. Okay. Okay. Okay, I don't have missiles yet, so I can't go through there. Alright, well... I've reached another dead end, and I think this is time to uh, call it quits for this this episode. I uh, will be continuing this soon. It's going to be fun, so uh, stay tuned. It's going to be awesome, and thank you all so much for watching. Um, it's interesting so far. <laughs> I don't want to be too cynical, but you know, it's it's a little bit odd. So uh, I'll see you all next time on Gaming Time.